welcome to yet another episode of Knock Maths out the ballpark with me, Mr. Clark. This is our special times table ones and how we can practice these at home. Today we are looking at the six times table and we're going to make dreams come true. Six times table, one of my favourite ones to learn. It's also got my favourite sum. Don't ask me why it's my favourite sum. It's just my favourite sum. So, I've been already practising counting in sixes. If you haven't seen my introduction video, go check it out. It talks through the importance of counting first of all and why I use the level system. So, level one, level two, level three. Okay, so we're gonna look at what questions fall into what level. So, practice my counting, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, et cetera, up and back down. Really important both ways. Now, let's get into learning some of these facts. So, I, once again, always start six times one, my one times table, easiest times table, six times one, six. When we're learning to count, it's the first number there. I bring in six times two, as my next one. I've done my two times table, so I know double six is 12. I then go to my middle man, as I call it. I don't know why, because well, it's in the middle, I guess. Six times five, learned a five times table. Six times five is 30. Then I bring in six times 10. That's the last one of my level one. So nice and easy, 10 times table, five times table, two and one. You recognize these all already. Now, this, I called it the rhyming times table, and this is the rhyming times table. There's some really cool thing with your even numbers, okay? So my next facts I'm gonna bring is six times four, six times six, and six times eight. If you remember that this is the rhyming times table, six times four is 24. So it makes it nice and easy to remember when we're rhyming. Six times four is 24. You might be able to guess what six times six is. Six times six is 36. Six times six is 36. Six times eight is 48. Now, if you look at these numbers, they're quite cool in the sense, what's half of four? Two. What's double two? Four. What's double three? Six. What's double four? Eight. What's half of six? Three. And you can see that with the numbers, there's a bit of a pattern there. Okay? So they are my level three. Six times four, 24. Six times six, 36. Six times eight, 48. I can rattle them out super quick. Now I come on to the slightly harder questions that we've got left. Now some of them, you might have expected to come up a bit earlier. But, so the first one is actually six times three. Six times three could in theory be in that level two, but I don't like putting too many questions in in one go and they're my rhymers. So six times three, you've done your three times table, that is 18. I now bring in six times seven and six times nine. Six times nine is the almost there. It's six away from being 60, so that is 54. And the final one I want to introduce is six times seven, my favorite sum in the world. Don't ask me why, it's 42. Just remember that when you're asked six times seven or seven times six, it's Mr. Clark's favorite. Hopefully that's gonna help you knock the six times table out of the ballpark and make your mathematical dreams come true and take you one step closer and me as well to becoming the Beyonce of maths. Please subscribe below, I know I keep on forgetting. I think it's there. Right, catch you guys later, bye-bye. Oh,